In a world where foodies are constantly looking for new and exciting culinary experiences, lamb and mutton may be their next venture. But to capture that authentic experience, the food has to be prepared. That's why the Ministry of Agriculture held a workshop to do just that. Participants included a diverse group, which included chefs, home cooks, and even butchers, all eager to learn more about cooking with these savory meats. The Ministry's Livestock Coordinator, Andrew Mejia, explains that this initiative started as a way to promote growth and development in the country's sheep and goat industry. The farmers that produce this product, they are unable to sell. The market is very constricted. So a lot of farmers have um, problems in terms of marketing their sheep, the live animals. Why? We're not eating it. So we rely a lot on the tourism industry. We rely a lot on our foreigners in that, that reside in the country for the farmers to be able to sell their product, which shouldn't be. Um, we get a lot of complaints in the ministry that they can't sell their sheep. Now, one of the responses from, from our ministry and my department was to, you know what, let us teach them how to cook it. Let us teach them how to consume it. Maybe once Belizean's consumption rate goes up, our farmers would be able to sell their product. The training was led by the Ministry of Agriculture's Extension Officer, experienced chef Frank Padron, who has been professionally trained in Taiwan and Argentina. Padron started the workshop with an introduction about the various breeds of sheep, the unique flavors they bring to the table, and the different cuts of meat, and also how to prepare them. So today I show the farmers, the chefs, and everybody that was attending the meeting how to do those cuts so that they understand and they have a value adding more to each part of the meat. For example, in the ribs, just the ribs is like an $18 a pound right now. And depends how it is the cut is done. Especially the next uh, one is the ribs, the, the ribeyes. And today I show them a complete sheep, how to do it, um, lawn chops, all of it, complete sheep. And then the second animal I did it with them. Um, showing them what is the tenderloin, what is the porterhouse, what is the strip ribs, what is the seven steak, and other cuts so that they understand. When they go by, they will know actually what they want because different meat it has been able to cook differently. From there, it was all hands on deck. Participants worked with fresh, high-quality lamb and mutton and were guided through a variety of recipes and techniques. The workshop covered a range of dishes that showcased the versatility of these meats from stew lamb to finger-licking barbecue. Owner of Gillette's Meats, Derek Gillett, says this workshop will not only benefit restauranteurs in diversifying their menu, but also help his business generate more revenue. But the problem with it is that um, the people want special cuts. And uh, for example, they need lamb chops, they want more lamb chops, um, rock a lamb. But the other parts then is hard to sell. Because people are not much acquainted with the way for cooking sheep, but I think with this workshop, maybe they could learn a little bit on how to um, cook the sheep. You know, the Indians would have come and buy it, but they use it for curry, mm -hmm. and then that that when we sell most of it. But then it's kind of cheap. The cut the cuts that are more expensive, like the rock lamb or the lamb chops, that are, could make more money off that. But then the the, the they are cheap meat. It doesn't balance. It doesn't balance. So that's why we don't use much sheep. I use about two, three sheep a week. That's about all. But I would like to sell more. I think it, the people will get more aware that sheep is a good meat to eat. Sheep is nice. Um, people get that tendency to say that, ah, I don't want a sheep because it's um, sweet or it got a sweet taste or it got a ringing taste. But no, that's not true. The initiative was conducted through funding from the Taiwan International Cooperation Development Fund through the Sheep and Goat Project. The Sheep and Goat Project Specialist Isan Huang explains that this lamb and mutton culinary workshop is the result of the successful lamb and mutton breeding project in Belize. We're really happy to see that more farmers that they are engaged into the um, engage into this business, sheep and goat business, and we're hoping that this uh, this industry can get in bigger in Belize. Then our final our final goal is to like to export this the land and mutton outside Belize to Mexico or to Guatemala. That's our 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 final goal. So I think it's it's export ready. We are just we are just let go some a little bit part like the traceability system and some connection from the 
from the from the market and the farmers. So that's why this workshop we invited the, the restaurant, the slaughterhouse, house, and also the most important is the sheep farmers to here. This 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 workshop is not just to to teach them how to cook. We also want to make the build a connection between the restaurant and the uh, restaurant side house and the shoe farmers. By the workshop's end, participants had expanded their culinary knowledge and skills and gained a newfound appreciation for lamb and mutton. For Love News, Giovanna Mogel.